What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video today. I want to talk about Mint ID silver and gold bullion with microchips embedded inside of them for security purposes, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. Link will be in the description. Try to hit a thousand subscribers. And if you want to help support the channel, by getting some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to talk about this new Mint ID concept that I have been seeing all over YouTube, all over Instagram. That's right, I made an Instagram page for the channel and I have a 15% off coupon code over on the page. It'll be linked in the description in case you wanna get a discount on some merchandise. But I've been seeing these pictures, I've been seeing these videos, I've been reading a couple of different articles and to be 100% honest, it still is unclear. I'm not 100% familiar with this concept and it seems to be that way for a lot of people. I've checked out a couple of videos hoping to get a little bit better of an explanation because I had a hard time conceptualizing what the articles were trying to get across and it seems like a lot of the people whose videos I've tuned into are a little bit confused as well. But to put things simple, as I'm displaying on the screen right here, they are now putting microchips inside of silver rounds and bars, and I'm assuming probably eventually coins as well. And this draws a little bit of a red flag for me. But before we get into that, let's talk about some of the pros. Let's talk about how this could potentially come in handy. Does this make sense to me? Does this sound like something that would be a good idea? Yeah, theoretically sounds like a good idea and truth be told I think it probably is a good idea for maybe the collector out there somebody who isn't necessarily stacking silver for the same reasons that a lot of us are stacking silver for to preserve wealth for the long term and act as a hedge against inflation and just kind of stockpile as much physical silver content as we possibly can that's what I'm doing anyway that's what a lot of people who watch my videos are doing I'm not really collecting nine times out of 10. If I'm ordering silver, if I'm converting my dollars into silver, I'm getting pretty much the same stuff. All I really stack are silver eagles, silver maples, and 90% junk constitutional silver for the most part. I mean, every now and then I'll switch it up a little bit, but I'm looking at these rounds and this 10 ounce bar that I have on the screen and it looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. However, I'm not sure if what we're looking at is exactly how the actual silver would look once it's in our possession. That blue circle in the center, I don't know if that's just to indicate where the microchip would be, kind of like to highlight it for you, that way you kind of have a little bit of an idea, or does that mean that we're gonna have a big blue circle on our silver if this is what we choose to order? Part of me kind of feels like if I were to order this and it were to arrive, that blue circle would either not be there or potentially a removable sticker. Something tells me that it wouldn't have a big blue circle on it, but I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. I kind of feel like it's just letting you know that's where the microchip is. But one thing that drew a red flag, and trust me, we'll get into the whole tracking nonsense bef before that, I want to know how big is this microchip? Is it actually the size of that blue circle? Because that's a good portion of the silver. Does that mean that each individual piece of silver is going to weigh slightly more? Does that matter at all? Is it so small that it's not even going to make a difference? Is it going to say one troy ounce on it, but it doesn't 100% contain one troy ounce of actual silver? Does it weigh a troy ounce? because the microchip is there and we're actually getting a little bit less silver, I'm not entirely sure. 
This hasn't really been explained. I'm asking a couple questions that I haven't even heard other people ask. These are just a couple things that pop into my head when I'm looking at the picture. But moving away from all that, there's one thing that I wanted to point out. These things are kind of introducing precious metals to technology. It's kind of intertwining the physical silver with a form of cyber security because this microchip, there's an app which you can download on your phone or I'm assuming your tablet. I'm sure that there's a website, but there's definitely an app that you can use. And I'm guessing that you can download the app and then you scan where the microchip is and register that you have the silver? Based off of what I've been reading, that seems to be the case. Now, like I said earlier, this does make sense in theory, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me. I can't see myself getting this. Now, I'm not one of those tinfoil hat wearing people who think that the government's watching everything that I do. Trust, like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The government's not watching everything that you do. 90% of us are sitting around eating Doritos all day. They, they're not sitting around watching every move you make. Let's be honest. But with having to register the silver through this app or through this website, that information is stored on a server. And I want to know who has access to the server. Who has access to the server right now and who will have access to the server in the future? And what were to happen if somebody figured out a way to hack into the server? Because then a hacker would figure out not only what we have, but exactly how much we have, where it is, what it is, how much it is. It just doesn't seem very, very safe unless, of course, they have these astronomically high levels of cybersecurity guarding it all. I don't exactly know how it works based off of what I read and a couple of the videos that I watched about this. I didn't really get a whole lot of information and I'm hoping that that's what this video can do. I hope that this video can push some of my questions out there because I know a lot of people are probably wondering the same questions I'm wondering and hopefully leads to some of these questions getting answered, in which case I'd be more than happy to make a part two to this video. This is the asking questions video, and hopefully I'll be able to make an answering questions video. But I'm curious, everybody watching this right now, what are your thoughts? Does this sound like a good idea? For the collectors out there, this seems like something that would make a little bit more sense for you. Odds are, if you are a collector, you probably do not have silver stacked up to your ceiling you're just probably like doing it more so as a hobby and i don't know if this seems like something that would make more sense to you because in my opinion it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me and there's one last question i want to ask or one last thing that i just want to say starting in 2021 we've been hearing about this for months now starting in 2021 american silver eagles will have enhanced levels of security, anti-counterfeit technology. Does that mean that starting in 2021, our American Silver Eagles will have microchips inside of them? Also not to mention the fact that they are microchip, does that mean that the premiums are going to be through the roof because it has these brand new levels of security? These are just some of the questions that I'm asking. These are some of the questions that I'm wondering. I don't have all of the answers just yet, but I'm gonna stay on this. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. Link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 1,000 subscribers, so help us out. And if you wanna help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And do not forget, everybody gets 15% off and the discount code can be found on my Instagram page, which will also be linked in the description.
thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, does this seem like something you would go for? Does this seem like something that would be a good idea? Does this seem more beneficial? Do the pros outweigh the cons? Do the cons outweigh the pros? What are your thoughts? If you have any answers to some of the questions that I asked in the video, please inform me in the comments. If you have any questions that I did not ask, maybe something that I haven't even thought of, ask away in the comments. Let's turn this into a conversation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.